Hello, dear students. So once again, welcome to this educational portal of English language teaching, literature, uh, research, and education. So today we have uh, 15 questions. Uh, this is a quick revision of different questions from different topics of literature. So let's have these and with the important facts also. So first of all, Orwell's 1984 is a, a more correct novel, a building's Roman, a dystopian novel, or a Picarus novel. So we have to choose the right answer. So the right answer is, see, it's a dystopian novel. And this novel, 1984 by uh, Orwell, it was published in 1949. Okay, it was published in 1949. And uh, it is a dystopian social science fiction novel. Actually, it's a dystopian social science fiction novel. Uh, and uh, uh, Orwell wrote this novel against the totalitarianism, against the totalitarianism uh, at that time. So once again, let me tell that this novel was published in 1949 and it is a dystopian novel, dystopian social science fiction novel by Orwell. Then the character of Widow Queen appears in the following play. So here the list is given, uh, Riders to the Sea, The Playboy of the Western World, The Will of the Saints, The Tinker's Wedding. So which can be the right answer, friends? So the character of Widow Queen, uh, this character appears in the playboy of the Western world. It is B, the right answer is B. And this uh, playboy of the Western world, this particular work is by J.M. Singe. As we all know that this work is written by J.M. Singe and it is a three act play. It has three acts in it and it is a drama. It's a play by James Singe published in 1907. And uh, Widow Queen is a, an important character. Uh, he's a, uh, this character is a rival to Piggin Mike. There is another character, Piggin Mike, uh, to which this character, Widow Queen, uh, is the rival in this particular play. Then, the Marabar Caves figure in the following novel. So here we have four different novels in front of us. Kanthapura is there, Passes to India, The Guide, A Band in the Gangs. So what can be the right answer? And the right answer is we have B, Passage to India. Passage to India, very famous work by E.M. Forster, published in 1924. It was published in 1924. And Marabar Caves, he described uh, a fictional place with the name Marabar Caves in India. While he was describing about India uh, during British rule, at that time, he described this place, Marabar Caves, very important place he described it here in this particular work. Then name the character from To the Lighthouse, who is a painter. So here we have four different options and we have to find out the painter, who was the painter in the work To the Lighthouse. So first of all, let me tell about To the Lighthouse. To the Lighthouse is a work by Virginia Woolf, published in 19. Uh, 27, 1927. And this character uh, of painter is Lily Briscoe. Lily Briscoe is the character who is a painter also in this particular work by Virginia Woolf. Lily Briscoe is a passionate artist in this particular work. Then there is a line we have to identify that from which of the following poems uh, these lines are taken. So first of all, let me read out the lines. Things fall apart. The center cannot hold. The falcon cannot see the falconer. Okay. So this line is there. We have to identify the poem's name. So the poem's name is given there. The second coming, the tower, the sailing to Byzantium, or Leda and the swan. 
so the right answer is a the second coming second coming is very very important very famous poem and this poem is by uh, wb yeats william butler yeats uh, the irish poet okay wb yeats was an irish poet who wrote this poem and this poem was published in 1919 1919 okay remember this because sometimes they ask in in the matching the items the publication year and the po poet's name that's why i'm including the important facts in these uh, mcqs so wb eats william butler reads the irish poet wrote this poem and it was published in 1919 and uh, one important very very important fact that this poem was published first of all first it was published in a magazine and that magazine's name was the dial the dial was the magazine in which it, this poem was first published then after it was published in 1919 then name the poet associated with the bog poems bog poems is a, a, a collection of different types of poems so we have to identify the correct name sylvia plath is there r s thomas is there steve smith is there then simus heney so here we have four different options the right option is d simus heney and simus heney wrote these bog poems and this is a collection by him published in 1975 okay remember this publication year collection of bog poems uh, was published in 1975 by simus heney then uh, once again we have two more lines for, from poetry there is no sophistry in my body my manners are, are tearing off heads so the above lines are taken from uh, we have four options friends hawk roosting the thought fox uh, lupercal then hawk in the rain so what can be the right answer the right answer is a hawk roosting is the right answer and uh, uh, one important fact associated with this particular po poem is uh, it is a poem by ted hajis ted hajis is the uh, poet of this poem and uh, uh, this poem was first published in his second book in his second book uh, published in 1960 okay this poem was published in 1960 in his second book then uh, the child character raf and piggy appear in the following novel so we have four options of novels pincher martin the inheritors the spire lord of the flies so four options are given there we have to identify the right one the character child characters friends so the, these child characters appear in lord of the flies here by mistaken i uh, forgot to change the b uh, to d but the right answer is lord of the flies d is the right answer and uh, when we talk about its important or surrounding fact that this lord of the flies is written by william golding uh, nobel prize winner nobel prize british uh, literary artist you can see is writer of a novel novelist a british novelist uh, william golding and this novel was published in uh, 1954 and this novel is a story based on the group of boys Uh, it has some <clears throat> children children in it on an uninhabited uninhabited island these children are there and this story is all about then moving ahead alison is a woman character in <clears throat> sorry alison is a woman character in luther Uh, look back into the into anger the entertainer the kitchen so we have four options luther look back in anger 
the entertainer the kitchen so as we all know that look back in look back in anger is the right answer because alison is a women character uh wife of jimmy porter okay jimmy porter is the protagonist of this that particular play and this play is a realistic play look back in anger is a realistic play by john osborne published in 1956 it depicts the situation uh, uh, contemporary situation of england at that time okay look back in anger is the uh, the story about that then moving ahead name the author of the scarlet letter so scarlet scarlet letter is a work by whether it is by emerson by dreiser by hawthorne or or by hemingway so the right answer is hawthorne nathaniel hawthorne is the author of this particular work the scarlet letter and the scarlet letter is uh, published uh, uh, is of historical fiction first of all let me tell uh, it's a historical fiction and it was published in 1850 in 1850 it was published by nathaniel hawthorne then which of the following texts is not by kalidas first of all before this question let me clarify friends some of the questions are asked in exam from indian literature indian literature they include sanskrit also so be prepared with these questions some of the important questions not uh, that the uh, difficult questions they will ask but important and famous questions they will ask from indian literature so this question is from indian literature particularly from sanskrit literature and we have four options raghuvansham swapna vasavdattam meghdutam or sakuntalam so first of all let me clarify that swapna vasavdattam is not a work by kalidas okay kalidas wrote all other three for example raghuvansham meghdutam and sakuntalam were written by kalidas but swapna vasavdattam was written by kavi bhas kavi bhas was a a uh, poet mahakavi he was told as mahakavi great poet of his time okay every poet in sanskrit is called mahakavi or great poet mahakavi kalidas mahakavi bhas in that way so uh, here bhas is the uh, poet of this particular work swapna vasavdattam and this swapna vasavdattam is six act sanskrit play it has six different acts in it then moving ahead who is the author of the novel paraja paraja is a, a novel's name and we have list of authors fakir mohan senapati pannalal patel mahashweta devi or gopinath mohanty so friends the right answer is d gopinath mohanty he is the author of this novel paraja and what is the novel about let me tell about this novel this novel was first published in 1987 okay 1987 it was published before some years not it is not the older one and this novel was translated actually in in english that's why the, this question is there uh, it was translated by bankim uh, sorry bikram das bikram das translated this novel into english written by gopinath mohanty and it is considered as the uh, one of the classics in the modern indian fiction then moving ahead the central theme of the diviners by margaret lawrence is so here we have to find out the central theme depicted in this particular work the diviners so four options we are given a women's quest for individuality struggle for survival search for history multiculturalism so the right answer must be c search for history is the right answer because uh, it's a great uh, search for history depicted in this particular work the diviners by margaret lawrence and uh, margaret lawrence was a canadian writer canadian writer okay so this particular work 
relates with the Canadian English literature. So when we talk about other Brit, uh, non-British literature or other literature uh, uh, of English, then Canadian literature is a very important one along with Australian and German. So it is a great work of Canadian literature. And this uh, novel, this is a novel, The Diviners, was published in 1974 by Margaret Lawrence. And it is her final novel, last novel. It is her last novel. So please remember Diviners published in 1974 and Diviners was the last novel by this Canadian writer, Margaret Lawrence with a theme, a central theme, search for history. The central theme of Albert Camus, the outsider is. So Albert Camus, very great writer of his time, uh, and he wrote a lot of good works. So uh, we have to find out the central theme of this uh, work, the outsider. The themes are given there, the fear of death, racism, violation of environment, the absurdity of life. So find out friends. I think it's very easy because the D is the right answer. The absurdity of life is the uh, central theme of this Camus uh, novel the outsider and the outsider is also known as the stranger okay it has another name the stranger uh, because albert camus uh, was particularly french writer he was not an english writer he was a french writer and in french he wrote this novel uh, and uh, it has another name the stranger stranger uh, is the name of this particular novel so two names are there. Remember these, The Outsider and The Stranger. And this was published in 1942 by Albert Camus. Then 90, the last question of this uh, session or video, we can say, uh, anagnorisis. Anagnorisis, according to Aristotle, stands for, so what does it mean? That is uh, here asked. So, reversal of fortunes, error of judgment, representation, or recognition. So, the right answer is recognition. D is the right answer, recognition. And anagnorisis, uh, as Aristotle believes, is a point in a play or a novel uh, in which a main character, the protagonist of the novel, recognizes the identity of another's, another characters. Okay, so there, uh, there are different characters in a play or a novel. So the protagonist just recognizes the identity of somebody in the play. And that is known as anagnorisis, recognition. So friends, that's all for this uh, uh, session. And uh, we'll, we'll continue with such questions for some important questions with some surrounding facts. Okay. And these facts will help you a lot in the exams of NET, SLATE, TGT, PGT, and so many ex other exams which are based on literature of English. Okay, so thank you so much. And don't forget to share this video and like this.